hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you all for clicking on another interesting video with me i know it has been a minute it has been like a while you know but you know we are back we are back with hot content hot topics you know and guys in case you are here and you are new and it is this is your first time seeing this beautiful face kindly subscribe right here or right here on the screen just check and subscribe so that you can join this amazing youtube family because here we create a lot of things we do vlogs we do sit down content we educate one another and for you to be part and parcel of all these things combined yeah just subscribe and join this family so that you can be part and parcel of us so i know what has brought you here it is the title the title is hot i know it is bringing you know bringing that thing so just stay tuned because we are going to talk about this at length i'm going to give you a story and this is practically what i saw most of the things that i'll be talking about especially story times and like educative content it is based on like real life situation what i have seen and i'd like to share this with you guys so that at least you can learn something out of it and if you have your own experience on or what you think about it just leave a comment down below and i will highly highly appreciate those com those comments because i'll also learn from them by the way this is what has inspired me to come and bring these topics right here and i don't know what i'm going to call this chit chat you can also leave that in the comment section just give me an idea of what you want me to name this episode because it will be coming in episode one two as we proceed this is what has inspired me. I started doing like some few story times in, on TikTok some few months ago and the reception was beautiful. I loved, loved the reception. Because people were giving their own opinions on that, people were like commenting, they were giving me their own side of the story and I thought why not come here on YouTube as well and give you the same, same content because I have like different audiences. People who watch me on TikTok are not the same people who watch me on youtube so it was nice for me to like just pick and give you guys i don't want you guys to be missing a lot on what i am talking about you know it is nice for me to like give you both an idea of my life and content so yeah let's head right into the video because i usually talk a lot i usually talk much and yeah let's head right into the video there's a story i went to i want to tell you this is what happened like a few years back when I was still in high school. But before we head into that, the headline of our conversation is how do you find relationships in school between teachers and students? Like a, a teacher dating a student or the other way around. If this happens to both genders. A male teacher can date a female student or a male student can date a female teacher. It comes like both ways. So this is what happened. When I was still in high school, a lot was a lot was happening. Like we used to have like speculations here and there. Rumors would spread in school like fire. Kitutaskia form one is the one form four. Like things used to spread highly in high school. So there was this time a story started, oh, there are some few girls in school who are dating teachers. And Mimi na yi maskiwe, huh? Like, Mimi, I love this. I love listening to, like, some news. Nataka to pisikia uda. Give me the news. I listen, but I don't participate. <laughs> this is me. I would listen to that story. Even if I want to participate, like, even if I want to comment anything, like, I want to hear news. Whether good or bad, this is just me. So... I used to be among those first first people when you we used to get like information first hand. So a story started speculating in school that oh we have like some few girls who are dating a certain teacher, certain teachers way back in high school. So nikakuja nikasikia sikia hapa na pale and we used, we used to like you know when you when you get information about something you will now start looking at these people that umeambiwa like these people that you've been told their story about you'll now start looking at them in a certain way when they pass you'll start looking where are they going to are they going to that teacher that you are you know <laughs> yes this is what i'm talking about that is how nosy i was back then so yeah i was told the story and that was me 
I thought about it way back. It sounded really funny. It was so funny. And that is how days used to move way back in high school. Like that just used to move days and days. Cases of people being pregnant, people dating teachers, like just those experiences, people being expelled, people sneaking out of school. Like that was the story back then. But let's today let's talk about how people used to talk who used to date teachers in school. So I wasn't able to gather my facts right when the information started spreading. But there was just a time when we were almost done with with the KCSE. This was like some few papers to KC to like us being done like city kutoka high school in school. KCSE is an exam done in Kenya just at the end of your high school. This is what determines if you're going to university or not. So most of the things I will be talking about in my stories are references based on Kenya because this is my home, this is where I lived, this is where I went to school and yeah, I will be referencing that a lot. So this when we are just almost done. So Sisi Hapo in the dormitories, we all from force were placed in one dormitory. So everything that used to happen here and there, we could see, we could notice. So this this one night, this is what happened. Now this is where the story comes in. There was just one night, we had just done everything, washing, cleaning. It, is, it, was, it was time for us to go and sleep. So during this time, we were just there sitting, just, do, just storytelling and waiting for people to turn off their lights and sleep. So a fight erupts in the dormitory. And apparently, there are two girls fighting over a teacher. Like, yes, two girls fighting over a teacher. And tulikuwa tunasikia tuduru hapa na pale, oh ni wangu, ni wangu, ni wangu, ni wangu, ni wangu, which means he's mine. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is what, that is what, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like from experience, this is what we had are shouting all over the place only wangu and now those rumors they came together with that incident and i was able to gather my facts right then so as i told you that thing really sounded funny back then but when i sit down and think about it and the cases are still going on in schools nowadays i think that there is just a big problem you know so when we gather all those things and put them together i want you guys to now give me opinions but now this is my opinion if you are a student in school your parent sent you to school to study why are you looking for relationships in school i i'd prefer if you had a relationship with your age mates of the other gender maybe in another school that is understandable but your teacher this is the same person who is going to teach you who is going to stand in front of you teach you how are you going to be like <laughs> how are you going to be comfortable when this is the same person who is teaching you right in front like yes so i'm just thinking about that and i feel that it was so wrong and apparently that that issue was not solved as we left school it any issue in the end two so people left school when kulikuwa bado na moto you know so i'm thinking about it and i feel and i'm asking myself this i not i feel i am asking myself this who was in the wrong in this situation was it the teacher or was it the student because we have the aspect of ignorance right here and responsibility also because when you think about it the teacher is an adult this person is over 18 years old right and something funny is that when we were done with when we were done with form 4 and all of us were just getting in this social media space i came to find out that this teacher had a wife and had children so apparently he was using this girls way back in school like how sad how sad can this this world be because i feel like this teacher was just using this student for his own pleasure and these ladies were maybe ignorant or they didn't know what was happening you know i don't know but as my own opi opinion is best is like 
this guy is an adult he's the one who is supposed to be telling these girls that it is not good for you to be doing this in school i have a wife i have children and i cannot do this so you better you better stay with that in your head and concentrate on your books and it is just also not right for this thing to be like to be happening so but instead it was now the teacher taking advantage of these ladies and it was sad when i think about it right now it is sad and these things are still happening in school that is now the worst part of it is that these things are still happening in school and we are the generation who is, who are going to raise the next generation of children and our students will be going to school and they'll be experiencing this situation in a worse state you know leave alone what was happening back then it will be happening now in a worse state because things are evolving what to like people are moving and they are advancing so even problems are advancing you get what i'm trying to say so it will be just in another form but it will be just the same problem so how are we going to be dealing with such situation i am not in a position to give you solutions because i am also in a space of asking myself questions like why is this thing happening how is this society turning itself into because what is supposed to be done right now this is the point where i want you guys to give me your opinions on this because i will really appreciate and want to understand what exactly is going wrong in our current society but i feel like if you are raised right if you guys are raised in a morally upright you are morally morally upright right here you know you cannot just mess up because back then i thought to myself that i cannot you know i cannot because this is how i was raised i can i no i just can't i am not against it but this is my opinion on this i no i can't i cannot and i will not be comfortable raising a child who is dating a teacher so that's the, that's the whole picture of it so that's what's up about the gist and i would like you guys to give me your opinions nataka tuonge i want us to discuss much about this so that was my story and i would appreciate comments down below i'll appreciate if you guys talk to me and give me by the way topics give me incidents let me read those things i would highly highly appreciate and in case you have come across such and such a situation you guys can let me know how this thing went on and how it was solved you know in most cases that i saw i never saw even these people being suspended from school for dating a teacher and i don't know if the administration knew that there was something going on wrong in school because i never saw any punishment being given to these individuals i didn't see i didn't like see because the fight was happening when we were almost done with the exam so basically it has been going on for quite some time without measures being taken you know so yeah let me know in the comment section i will highly highly appreciate so that has been it for this video i have gisted you enough i have given you like some gist and it is just the beginning this is just the first episode of the name you are going to give me there are some beautiful topics that i'm going to bring to you which is just going to open your minds about what is happening in our society today and i hope that you are going to open your mind also so that you can give me suggestions on the things you are seeing and we will discuss that together so it has been it for this video i appreciate you listening to my voice for like 10 12 minutes i appreciate that and i hope we'll stay together and tell these stories together and educate ourselves about life so yeah we shall meet in our next video It has been your one and only Ingabo Atuo that's me and I have so many names as I said in the beginning I have like so ma- like so many names so just go with whatever you will find in this video so let's meet in our next one